10 News reporter Emily Valdez is now live at UCSD. And Emily, we understand that a student almost died from a drug overdose at that festival last year. Yeah, this is a picture of the student right here. He's Ricardo Ambrise. And the school newspaper, The Guardian, broke the news today of the two sexual assaults. Oh, yeah! Jeannie Kim looks on as UCSD fraternities face off in softball tonight. She was on the same field two weekends ago for the UCSD Sun God Festival. This is an Associated Students promo for it. I always felt safe. I felt safe last year. Kim was surprised to find out what may have happened at the festival. I had no idea. The campus newspaper, The Guardian, reports a person was raped and another person was sexually battered. But I felt safe and I thought it was way more low key than last year. Last year, 20 year old student Ricardo Ambrise collapsed and died in his dorm after taking a designer drug called Benzo Fury at the festival. Some school administrators wanted to cancel it after that, but the show went on. Kim says the trouble comes from a few. I don't think that Sun God should be taken away or anything like that because a lot of us are being responsible, not drinking a lot. And of course, we're going to stay on top of this story and be talking to school administrators and police tomorrow. I'm live at UCSD, Emily Valdez, 10 News.